Hello and welcome to the Rogue Tech campaign. Now, um, I was looking for something else to do after finishing the AC2 campaign and basically there isn't any way, or like no interesting way to make the vanilla campaign any harder than the AC2 campaign was. I mean, you know, there's stuff that's been done like all lights, um, there was a few sort of interesting ideas about shuffling mechs around and all that kind of stuff, but the problem is all those kind of playthroughs just uh, they just lead to you spamming LRMs at people and kiting across the map until you win and that's not going to be terribly entertaining nor terribly difficult. What it is going to be is terribly tedious. So one thing that was suggested to me was Rogue Tech, which is a what looks to be like a total conversion or mod for uh, Battletech and it seems to be one of the most popular mods at the moment. It was shamelessly advertised to me by its creator as something I might want to have a bash at. So we are going to start the Rogue Tech campaign. Now it says sandbox so I presume that the plot has been canned that there's no actual way to win this campaign. So I think the general objective will be once we reach a point where, you know, we have a full lance of great mechs and plenty of money, we'll call it a day and say that we've we've beaten this. But it's meant to be difficult and it's meant to be very, very hard to reach an overwhelming position. So, let's start our Rogue Tech campaign. <clears throat> I have no idea what this is going to be like. It could be awful, it could be really good. Um, it was not difficult to install. Uh, there's a few items that you need to install and it just basically involves sticking them in a mods folder more or less and running one injector program that, that injects a few dill files for you. Um, it, it wasn't hard, there's detailed instructions on how to do it on Nexus Mods which is where you get the mod from. I will provide a link and such in the description <coughs> It might not be there straight away the moment that this video gets uploaded, but uh, I will add it at some point so it will all be there. And we're loading. Audio jump. Okay. There was a video that was added, so I guess this is it. It comes with its own, uh, its own little advertisement or intro video, which is pretty cool gratuitous reuse of the uh, original game's uh, assets here. Yours for the taking. I know what I will be taking. Lots of names. <laughs> okay, welcome to the Reach. Okay, this is the same as usual. This is pretty much the same as usual, right? Let's go struck out on our own. We choose a different one every time I play. I don't think I ever chose this before. Okay, let's play as me this time, because why not? be a lovable rogue. We evidently need a male voice to go with that. Ah, one thing I noticed on the mods list was uh, selectable voices uh, for this total pack. So I already knew that I was going to be able to pick my voice. And there is a, a British male voice that one of my mech warriors had in my first campaign. So I kind of knew it was going to be there. It's almost like a stereotypical American idea of what a British person sounds like, so I love it. The more ironic, the better. Receiving you. Receiving you. Yes, Commander. Just give me a target. Just get me close enough. <laughs> oh, man. The old British sniper from uh, Yuri's Revenge? Was it Yuri's Revenge? Okay, we've got the Argo straight away. Um, okay, so we've got the Argo straight away. 
Do we have a story mission waiting for us? We do not have a story mission waiting for us. This contract requires travel to Britain. Is that included or not included? I suppose uh, it doesn't say like how many days travel that is. Oh, 40 days. There we go. 40 days. Jesus. So, we're going to go through a whole financial period just to get there. Okay. Let's presume we've got the starter mechs because there's no tutorial. Nope, we have completely different mechs. I appear to have a pair of Jenners. An urban mech. <laughs> I never found one of these in, in my various campaigns. A trebuchet. The blackjack. Medium rifle ammo. Okay, I haven't seen rifles outside of, like, tabletop in a billion years. And a commando. With... All kinds of what looks like clan tech. Is that like advanced materials? Is that fiber fibrous armor? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, so we've got clan tech. So I presume that these take up critical space and reduce tonnage, yeah? Yeah, okay. Okay, so there's a lot of tabletop stuff here from the clan, clan period. Look, what is these? These hard points are mental. Like twenty-four of every hard point. I guess you can just fit whatever you like, like the tabletop. Um Okay, let's have a look at the store. <laughs> my my mass pointer goes straight to the AC two plus. I'm like, ah, an AC two plus and I'm like, no. Bad ed. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Heavy rifle. Okay, so I mean in tabletop rifles were pretty much suboptimal auto cannons. Heavy machine gun. That's pretty nice. Light rifle. Thirty damage for three tons. Out to very long range. That's really good. That's that's way better than the AC2. Way, way better. LMG. That's clan tech. 0.25 tons. Okay, so the balance has been completely and utterly changed. Bloody rocket launchers, Jesus. Like even in the darkest, deepest, darkest vestiges of the Battletech novels, the rocket launchers make sense. Um, precision ammo. Okay, that's an interesting trade-off. Damage for accuracy. Okay, so there's a huge a huge amount of changes here. Hello, Commander. The may not be fully functional yet. Um enough for our purposes. Okay. Jesus. Okay, so the map is just kind of like everywhere. Okay, Clan Wolf. Okay, so we are in Clan Clan time. Fair enough. Well, so far it looks like someone's gone to a lot of effort to make this um, have everything. Everything that there ever was. Let's see if they've done anything with the ship. Uh, okay, so the ship is just 
just the same as the campaign. So we'll get repairing. Right. Oh, where do all these contracts come from? I looked at the contracts before and there was only three, right? Now there's like tons. These are all on the planet that I'm currently on. Let's get stuck in. Two skull, right? Should be able to handle two skull with kind of default kit. Should I not? What's this got? Rack two. What the hell is that? Oh my god, it's a rotary auto cannon. Okay. That's some pretty hardcore clan technology. Um, why can't I? Operation costs. Lance weight 170 tons. So there's a deployment cost? Okay, well I'll get it back anyway because the the payout's 170. Why am I not able to Why am I not able to add mech warriors? Okay, so that's fine. I can add him. Wait a minute. My custom mech warrior has disappeared. Is that deliberate? Are you not meant to have your your custom mech warrior? Hang on. Let me just try improving my uh my normal mech warrior. Uh, oh, look, Bulwark's been moved. <laughs> Very good. Kind of is the best skill in the game. Not sure how I feel about being forced to take Juggernaut, which is garbage, but you know, whatever. If that's how you want to make the game harder, then fine. Okay, so let's go back to the contract that I was trying to do. Okay, I'm back. And I'm usable. Okay. <laughs> so I guess that was just a bug. I thought for a second there you weren't allowed to use your commander, which uh, you know, like while it's it's a certainly a way to increase the difficulty, I'm not really sure I feel like that's a very good change. Okay. Forget generous, I just can't stand them. Mech warriors, prepare for combat. <clears throat> You're learning along with me here. You all know that I am very good at this game from my AC2 campaign you know I can play so we're just gonna plunge in no script here ladies and gents just gonna see what the two skull mission brings us I think I'm thinking that I would probably want to strip these light mechs down for their clan grade equipment the moment I get something nicer. Okay. 
two LRM twenties and a trebuchet. There is there is never a moment where that isn't disgustingly OP. Do we have jumps? We have jump jets. Jesus Christ, that is some jump jet capability you've got there. Looks like a good position to be for me. Um, what else have we got here? Medium rifle, medium lasers. Tag. Okay. Short range. The uh, scroll speed is insanely quick for some reason. Which is going to take me some getting used to. Okay, well, they've obviously played around with the speed of the game. Everything moves a lot faster, but the scroll rate seems very quick. Okay. Um, well, the plan is to get up there, or get over there. Let's go. Jesus, you've never seen an urban mech jump that far. Ever. I'm pretty sure urban mech is Battletech's way of telling you that <laughs> you you could probably walk quicker than you could travel in a uh, in an urban mech usually. Okay, what is this blue bar all about? I think we just move here. I gotta get used to this speed. It also feels quite choppy. Oh, Jesus, look at them, they're everywhere. Medium rifle and medium lasers. Probably want to get up on the high ground. Whatever you say, boss. Okay. Okay. The old garbage cicadia. You. We know exactly how to handle that. With lots and lots of missiles. 10% chance to hit! What the hell does this do? Cooled shot against a single target, a plus six penalty. Target's next initiative is reduced by one to a minimum of one. So what, that reduces my accuracy? Um... Okay, not even one of those missiles hit. Well, I'm presuming that with a 10% accuracy on my own missile launcher, that accuracy has been beaten into the ground with a stick. Well, 10% of a whole lot of missiles is still going to be pretty bad.
Resisted panic check. We've got panic checks? Okay. I think we definitely want to move up here. I don't want to get surrounded. You have orders? For now, let's reserve and try and get all my units together. Okay, it's another Cicadia. Not anything I usually worry about. <clears throat> if this game really, really heavily penalizes accuracy, then there's going to be a lot of room for large lasers with accuracy bonuses to do well. Because uh, LRMs look like they've been nerfed into the ground. And also, my accuracy, uh, my evasion tokens are not disappearing. Normally, I would have to move my light after so many shots have been fired at it. I hear ya. Of course, this mech hasn't got any bloody jump jets, has it? So, fifty-five percent on the SRM sixes—that's not bad. So, what does this precision strike do? Yeah, it actually reduces the accuracy. But I guess ruins the enemy's um, evasion. Ah, oh, man, no jump jets. What do I do? I move forward and take the shots, or run away? Uh, I'm going to think about that. Urban mech. I know, maybe we can... tag this guy? Okay, so... That's not unreasonable, but not great. Medium laser has no chance of hitting that. Let's try this. Okay. Head hit. Pilot injured. Panic check. Okay, whatever. Let's see what this tag does, shall we? If it works like in the tabletop, I'm going to be able to uh, deliver this guy a missile sandwich now. With near perfect accuracy. 45%! Well, it's not exactly missile sandwich delivery service. It's certainly enough. We'll continue to move away. Fifty percent, that's not bad. Uh, running a bit hot though. Okay. Okay, that's not good. This guy has not got great movement either. Jump capability is not too bad though. Overheat alert! Only just slightly though. Jesus, accuracy is awful. Okay, whatever. Fire everything. Okay, he's unsteady. enemies.
If I fire, I'm going to lose all my evasion tokens, right? I need to keep moving. Is there any way up? This is the edge of the map, so I can't... Ah, uh, first thing I should have done was check that every mech had got jump jets. Okay, we are going to run at the enemy and unload into them. Maybe next turn I can sprint around. <clears throat> this is like the weirdest angling. Pretty solid connection chance on the flamer though. Hey, that's not bad at all. Fatigued. Fatigued. We are reaching deep into the tabletop piloting tables right now. Ow. Well, that PPC hit was not good. Are you able to uh, finish the job here before this guy gets his evasion back? Probably not, right? Man, they are, everyone's missing everybody. This is uh, definitely the mod of low hit chances. And that's going to make an approach towards accuracy the most powerful. Ready for orders. Uh, do I overheat and just spam this guy to death? Nah. He's going down anyway. Okay. The last time I checked, a light mech that's been knocked over is a dead mech. So I think we shall make that happen. turn off some of these medium lasers. Uh, yeah, let's just rip off the whole side. Okay, well that didn't really seem to get the job done, did it? I'm going for the leg because accuracy is so low. Oh, okay, never mind. <clears throat> I was just thinking accuracy is so low. I want to any any mech that I start to kill, I actually just want to make sure that they actually die. Jesus, that PPC actually hit in the head. Ow. <laughs> okay, that's not I don't really want to sprint in there, do I? Because all the if if they punch me and knock me over, I'm dead. I 
think evas evasive maneuvering is going to be the best maneuvering, right? Damn, I can't believe I took that smack in the head. Jesus. I didn't realize it was the PPC that hit me in the head. Considering the accuracy levels in the game, I can't imagine what the chance was. Man, LRMs, I know they're overpowered in the vanilla campaign, but come on, guys. <coughs> you have to beat them so hard with a nerf stick. <laughs> well, they might be alright with the right gear. This is one of the techniques I used in the vanilla campaign, which was to just be, be in range of only missiles. And then, um encourage enemy mechs to just fire their missile launchers and nothing else because stock mechs have got a mixture of weapons and so you could get the enemy to waste their turns by just letting them fire their missiles but nothing else especially if they had like an LRM-5 or something and uh, is it Enforcer or Centurion's got like a PPC and a, a few lasers and an LRM-5 and you can persuade it to just shoot the LRM-5 non-stop ooh a hunchback I'm not sure I like the idea of a clan hunchback. What's he got? Oh great, he's got tag. And he's got pretty decent loadout. Where are the weapons? They're in the arms? Really? For a hunchback? Okay. Okay, alright. Go, my urban mech! We tagged the hunchy. Pretty solid opportunity to tag the hunchy. Let's try and get rid of the hunchy. Oh, nice, everything hit. launch missiles. So the one thing about this game making evasion so good is I've got to move for no reason, right? Just to keep my evasion tokens up. I can't just stand there and fire. Launch missiles! 60% chance to hit. Seems pretty good for this game. Whoa, now that looked like it hurt. If it were hard case, he would have ejected after taking all of those missiles. He would have been like, this is hard case. Come to me, baby. Ejecting, ejecting, ejecting! <laughs> There's an obscure reference for uh, some, some fans of other mech Battletech games. Well, this mech runs hot now, doesn't it? How much heat do these rifles generate? Six. I was going to say it's auto cannon type weapons. They shouldn't generate much. Wonder if I should just just take the heat penalty and saturate this guy. Ah, whatever. Panic checks, my friend. Panic checks. Check your panic at the door. Leg it! Hopefully I can lead the enemies on a jolly goose chase following this commander around while I uh, clean up these two mechs on the upper upper area. Oh, did you just see him do like a Michael Jackson power slide? That was pretty... That's pretty funny. Well, I should say... Uh, she did a Michael Jackson style power slide since it's a female mech warrior in there, but you know. The amount of difficulty I'm having using actual weapons, I'm getting the uh, the urge 
to start meleeing. I mean, seriously. What is the chance to hit for a melee? Awaiting orders. Forty damage as well. I can't melee, I'm not close enough apparently. It is an urban mech. Uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Wow, it hurt a little bit. Stressed. Stressed, okay. Okay, so the auto cannon doesn't like to be close because it's uh, AC2 type. Does he still have the tagged tag? No. Okay. Gotta keep moving around. Okay, he got tagged. That's good. His stability bar just completely maxed out for some reason. Uh, you're fine. Okay. 65 to 80% chance from there. What about from closer? Oh, nearly perfect. <coughs> I don't know if you've noticed this before, but you can target somebody to see the chance to hit, and then you can actually use the move key to move somewhere and then target, and you can actually see how much, what your chance to hit is. Unfortunately, I've never found a way to make the marker stop moving, so it's not entirely the most useful thing, but you know. Oh, I suppose you could do it like that, couldn't you? So I've never found a way to stop it moving. F shows you a way to stop it from moving. Okay, um... Let's give this guy some medium laser sandwich. Engaging with target. Considering the accuracy, and it seems like the ease of which I can make some of these pilots panic, it strikes me that um, pilot kills might be the easier way to get the job done. Okay, let's get rid of this guy's leg if we can. That will make him easier to knock over in the future. There goes the right arm. Oh, there goes the left arm. Or is that the left leg? Something went. You, my friend, need to just keep moving. Oh, crap. <laughs> the edge of the map is like right there, so there's nowhere to run for now. Just gotta buy time. <clears throat> I 
try and just <clears throat> lead these guys on a jolly chase. Pace of combat is definitely slower at the moment anyway. Obviously everything is running much more quickly because they've adjusted the animations and such to make the game a much more smooth experience. But what I mean is the amount of damage being traded back and forth is uh, pretty low. So this would lead me to believe that effective loadouts would be ones that favor lots of accurate weapons and perhaps have reduced armor. For now, you can't help. I'm wondering, if I punch the uh, Circadia, will he lose all of his evasion tokens? Like the original game. Do I carry on just piling damage into this guy? Ah, uh, he's, he's taken a stability... He's lost a, a thing of stability, but he hasn't actually lost his leg. So that's interesting as well. Right, I need to learn. So, one thing that's going to help me learn is, can I punch this guy and kill his evasion? Whoa. Ye yes. <laughs> he's got one hit point in his leg. So if I just spam him with missiles, as long as one connects, he's going to fall over. That's a fail. are inside minimum range. 85% chance to hit. Jesus, don't stand still as a scout. Even <laughs> The hunchback has got like 45% chance to hit because at least he moved, right? And the Circadia, which is a much smaller and more difficult target for a missile, because I punched him and he's taken the evasion penalty for that. He is a, a guaranteed smack. seems legit to me. Oh, he's changed his mind. He's not going to chase the commando anymore. Yes, commander. Um, okay. Let's move to this position. Have no doubt it will be done. And let's kill this guy, I guess. That RAC2 is pretty nasty. Should I just assassinate this guy? Or should I try and kill the pilot? See if I can get better salvage. I just assassinate him. I'm not interested in trying to capture a friggin' Circadia for crying out loud. Even one with clan tech. Commander? I don't even know what these mechs are. Uh, looks good to me. Hmm. This could be a mod where melee is overpowered. Just talking to myself here. Well, talking to all of you, of course, but 
just plotting in my mind. I think that uh, tactically melee and lots of short range weapons might be very powerful in this because of the chance to hit. But we'll see. What is the hunchback going to do? Not much is the answer to that question. Reporting. Could just punch this guy. That'll knock him over. Ha! Huh, you can you can punch tag. That's pretty awesome. Let's punch tag the guy. <laughs> so not only is melee powerful, but you can tag someone up for uh, follow-up. Oh, he's changed his mind again. I think that was a tag he just hit me with. Armor breach? How can there be an armor breach? He hit you in the head again. Oh well tag device only did one damage. Could you imagine being killed by a tag? That would be uh... <laughs> that'd be pretty bad. Order. Not sure I would want to be the guy that went down in Mech Warrior history as being killed by a tag. Yeah, let's get my melee in and this gives me opportunity to cool my mech down as well. Sweet. 50% uh, chance to hit. Plenty of missiles, right? 1 HP on that leg. I would love to hit it. I would love nothing more than to put a single round into that leg. But I'm not going to. Not from this side. Well, there goes that torso. Yes! I'll see you in salvage, my friend. Shall we find out what this enemy is that's been chasing me around? Uh, let's reserve for now. Let's wait for these guys to waste their turns. Assaults? Can't be right. Commander? Maybe they're vehicles? I mean, they're going in the last phase. So they're either vehicles or they're assaults. I can't imagine that a mod that proclaims to have any semblance of balance is going to be making me go up against assaults already. Moving Although their lack of jump jets means I could probably pick them off with missiles, maybe. Okay, it's a tank. Rottweiler. It's not a tank that I know of off the top of my head. I guess these two are vehicles as well then. That would be my presumption. I know exactly how to deal with vehicles. We stand on them. Blat. Wow, just like 
add a load of after kill there into the tank. You think you wouldn't fire the secondary weapons if the vehicle is like dead. But apparently she's quite quite the vengeful lady. A delay sounds wise, Commander. Truly, truly the wise man delays. Let's go! Okay, what we got? A Manticore, a Demolisher, and a Striker. So it's all vehicles. Oh boy! Uh, the Demolisher has got his actual proper complement. <laughs> uh, that's bad news. Fire everything. I absolutely did not care whether I overheated. Oh, it didn't even appear to take any structure damage, it was only a very minor overheat. The world in which I allow a demolisher to fire two AC-20s at one of these mechs is, uh, is a bad world. Uh, okay, basic weapons, nothing exciting. Of course, in this game, missiles are greatly reduced in capability, so maybe the Manticore is what I actually want to be shooting at. Although I have basically no chance to hit. I could get the rear armor here. What's this, a minor overheat? We can take a minor overheat. Kill it! Well, the plan is that we get the hell down there, kick these guys to death. Come on, get him. Oh, sweet. Reporting one less view. Right. So far, so good, right? Oh, nasty! Oh, please don't tell me that was a PPC hit to the head. Oh my god! <laughs> Two PPC hits to the head. What are the odds? Especially with all the evasion. And he's got one hit point. <laughs> okay. All right then. I'll take you seriously now. Jesus, I cannot afford to overheat this mech. Target acquired and locked in. Good to go. Good to go indeed. I might have to DFA this tank just to prevent it from doing anything crazy. Got something you want done? Uh, yeah, I'd like you to kill this guy actually. Maybe I should just DFA him. Actually, his side structure is completely exposed. I should be able to finish the job. Or not. Standing by. Um, you just gotta land one missile. That's all you gotta do. Fifteen percent, but 
72% chance to hit the correct region. Let's go. Come on! Well, that wasn't too bad, apart from a couple of malaligned PPC hits to the face. That's, uh... That wasn't good. <laughs> Payout, 90,000. Okay, but we took full salvage, so who cares? Uh, where did all the armor go? Is that because I did some slight overheat damage? Okay. Okay, hunchback. Oh, you need five pieces to make a full one. Well, that's okay. I mean, I got three pieces. So, to start. We well, see stuff like this. I'm not sure if it makes the game more difficult or if it just slows the game down. You know what I mean? Minus five heat PPC. That's quite nice. Streak SRMs. In a game where you can barely hit anybody, streak weapons are pretty nice. Mm, tags. I get the feeling that a tag is going to be something that you want on every single mech. I don't have much interest in collecting circadia bits. AC-20s are kind of like whatever. We will take the nice weapons. Wow, we got both AC-20s and a light rifle. Not bad at all. So we made 90,000, <clears> plus a load of decent salvage. Now, how much are repairs going to cost? Didn't take much damage. Did take two nasty headshots. <clears throat> one guy with one HP. <laughs> I wonder if the AI is getting a bonus to headshots. Or whether I was just very unlucky. What I do know is I'm going to need another mech warrior. At least one more. Uh, hiring hall. I'm not going to buy any weapons, I'm just going to deal with salvage. Okay. New mech warriors available. Let's go to the bay and see what it costs to fix the kit. Okay, so that's nothing exciting. Once again, not a very exciting cost. Okay, so we made money. We got good salvage. And no time has been wasted. As of yet. We'll likely have to waste time just to uh, get all my kit repaired. Um, let's just stop work on this for a second. 
LRMs. They really are suffering from accuracy problems. Ten tons. Five tons. A lot of ammunition on this. A lot of ammunition on this. What other mountings have we got? Lasers. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm thinking this, but I'm thinking about large lasers. Well, one thing I can say, this thing could really jump. I'm not sure if it needs five jump jets, or why all of them are in the left torso. That strikes me as a bit weird, but anyway. SRMs. I really need to think about this. We'll just set up for repairs for now. Okay, well, it's been an hour already. So, this is uh, Rogue Tech, and uh, I'm certainly looking forward to doing some more missions in it. I think what I will do is off stream. Of course, I will sit down and have a think about what I want to do and start working out what I actually, how I want to rebuild these, if I even want to rebuild them. This uh, commando seems to have a load of high grade clan kit in it, and I might better serve myself by moving this high grade clan kit to uh, some other mech especially considering that the commando is not a particularly tough mech and we are uh, you know potentially possibly losing um, this kit when this commando gets wrecked This is a lot of very nice gear. If it does all these things that it, that these things say on the tin, we could certainly improve our missile boat considerably. I wonder if you could buy any of that. I didn't see any of it in the shop. So that makes me wonder if it's rare as well. And that the game is just giving you some of this nice stuff to play with. As a sort of taster. The first sample is free. 30% <clears throat> extra damage. 5% more heat generated. Minus 30% range, minus 2 accuracy. Okay. No thank you. Minus 50% damage plus 1 heat, no thank you. The standard ammunition. Hmm. Okay, I'll give it a thought. No one wants to sit me going, uh, sit here and listen to me go, hmm, ah, mm, oh, for the next uh, 10 minutes. So, uh, yeah. Join me next time for the second episode in the Rogue Tech campaign, which. 
I don't think it's going to be as difficult as the AC2 campaign, and I'm not sure if there are going to be any story missions to actually complete it. But we're going to just play it and have some fun. See you next time.